What's up beautiful people, today we're going to be checking out Gal Gadot's humiliates work Snow White actress Rachel Zegler. If you've seen Snow White, you probably know where this is gonna go. Let's get to it. However, what's been really interesting about this is that Gal Gadot hasn't voiced any sort of support for Rachel Zegler, and quite honestly, hasn't said much about Snow White at all. She's kept it about the movie and about her performance, rather than the rhetoric around the film and rather than politics and the message that the film is trying to convey. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it. It's no longer 1937, and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that is- not gonna be that. Oh, she got a lot of smoke for that. Saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be. Gal Gadot humiliates woke Snow White actress Rachel Zegler live. Over the past few days, ever since the new film of Snow White was announced, it has been receiving a lot of backlash from fans. The actress who plays Snow White, Rachel Ziegler, is primarily to blame for this. You see, the moment you make a movie all about politics, it is bound to receive a lot of backlash. However, as Rachel continues to make it all about politics, Gal Gadot is doing the opposite. To me, about Wonder Woman, she completely, she completely take the conversation. In fact, she has gone on to slam and humiliate Rachel in interviews, but how has Gal Gadot done this? What is it that Gal Gadot did that humiliated the woke Snow White actress, Rachel Zegler? Stay tuned to find out. And before we continue, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on the celebrity world. And with that, let's find out what happened. If you have been going online to update yourself more often, you have probably already seen that Snow White is having a lot of controversy. This has been all over social media and YouTube for the past few weeks. And because of that, we are not going to talk about why people have reacted so badly to the upcoming film. Instead, another reason is the seven dwarfs are no more. We are going to talk about Gal Gadot's reaction to all the controversy going around. Everyone has been talking about this film, saying all sorts of things. However, Gal Gadot has been extremely silent about it. Her and Rachel Zegler have appeared a few times in interviews concerning the movie, most of which are aimed at promoting it. But in all these interviews, Gal Gadot has been really silent. Gal Gadot leaves all the talking to Rachel as she just stands there. But ever since the controversy started, Rachel has attacked all this backlash as she talks about the movie. Rachel has even gone on Twitter to talk about all the backlash and attack the people fighting the movie. On the other hand, Gal Gadot hasn't spoken about the movie at all, whether on Twitter or in interviews. Didn't We did not see the clip, so I, I still haven't seen anything. Even Disney has talked about the backlash. At this point, it seems that everyone has something to say about the movie. And as they make a lot of noise out there, they are also fighting the backlash that the movie is receiving, confronting those who are claiming not to like it. But for Gal Gadot, she seems to just remain calm in all this. For instance, there was an she's been through this before, <laughs> so she knows how it goes. Interview where she and Rachel were asked about the political side of the film. And when it got here, Gal Gadot left Rachel to do all the talking as she looked the other way. When you think about it, this was a rather funny scenario. And over the years, she has made her views on modern female characters known. About a month ago, she came out in an interview and talked about how she doesn't like how women are being portrayed on screen. Moreover, she said that she doesn't like how they are also being written. According to her, with the way women are being portrayed, they are not really being celebrated. And instead of celebrating all different kinds of women, they are trying to make them more like men. She also said that she doesn't like the female remakes of male movies, mainly because it is just a way to turn women into men. Her proposal right. is that they write new stories for women, which is not that bad of an idea. When you look at all the movies where women are the stars, you will also notice that they are all trying to be made into men. In others, the idea of a real woman is someone who is more focused on their career. However, what Gal Gadot is trying to say is that women come in all shapes and sizes, all with different interests. A woman who is a stay-at-home mom or one who is focused on her career should be celebrated equally, which is what Gal Gadot is trying to bring about. Not so long ago, things became even more interesting when a clip of a recent interview of Gal Gadot and Rachel Ziegler came out. I watched it on uh, VHS yeah. on like the video recorder yeah. when when that used to happen yeah. like million That's years ago. I, I watched it on VHS. And in this interview, they were talking about Snow White. In this interview, Rachel Ziegler kept going on about how the old Snow White is outdated and how the new film is an improved. Yeah, I think uh, her press training needs to be refreshed. I don't know if she got one. Yeah, because when I watch some of her interviews, I've seen a few personally, just like clips on TikTok, people smoking her. Kind of feels like she's over saying things. This smoke shouldn't be on her. 
I don't think the smoke should be on the writers and the directors of the movie. You know, people had a lot of smoke for, and uh, what is that movie? The documentary Cleopatra. Yeah, people had a lot of smoke for that, but the the actress or the actor didn't come out talking a lot. You know, she let the smoke go to Netflix. So if she wasn't speaking so much, I think the smoke would go to Disney instead of her. But she's been really like she's been talking too much, a little too much, and I think that's why she's people are attacking her more. Version. She also claimed that it was better for women because it portrays where they have come as a society. However, as Rachel was talking, Gal Gadot quickly stepped in and tried to change the tune of the talk. She started making it more about the film and the actual story. There was no point at which Gal Gadot talked about the movie being an improved version of the old one. All she said was that the movie was made more relevant to today's society. She also talked about the actual plot and story of the film. The whole time she talked, she kept it more about the movie and less about what side of the political spectrum it lies on. She right. also tried to steer away from anything to do with politics, which was a smart move. Mm -hmm. When you compare what Gal Gadot was talking about, it was completely different from what Rachel Ziegler was talking about. This was mainly because Rachel kept it more about politics than talking about the actual film. Evidently, these two actresses have different views on the film, while Rachel thinks that the movie is an improved version of the original story. Gal mainly thinks that the film was just made more relevant to today's society. Gal tried so hard to just keep it about the story, saying that it was still a story and keeping it about the art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's experience talking. Yeah, yeah. I had so... Uh, this profession, the rejection... Oh, dude, it's, it's a tough business. If you think about it, this was a pretty smart view from Gal Gadot. Why? This is because by keeping it about the story and staying away from politics in an interview, she can easily avoid all online debate surrounding it. Mm -hmm. Moreover, the moment actors and actresses start getting into the politics of a film in an interview, there starts to be a massive online uproar. Right. In the end, a massive divide happens as the film is being released. This is something that has happened before with recent movies. And in the end, there is always a massive political divide. By the looks of things, Gal Gadot knows all this, which is why she is trying to avoid talking about the politics of the story. And by doing so, she can avoid causing a massive political divide. To achieve this, she is just leaning more towards the actual story in the film. By doing so, she manages to keep everything about the actual film, which makes everything peaceful. By doing so, she avoids bringing about what would happen, such as massive headlines and massive news. This would arise as people from both sides of the political spectrum started arguing about the movie. And when this happens, it stops becoming more about the film. I drink a lot. It's genetic as well. And I take a good care of it. It goes without saying, Saying that politics has a place in cinema. Moreover, it has a, a right to be no. shown in films, and films have a right to talk about it whenever. However, it would be much better if it came out in the actual story rather than during interviews. If it is brought out in interviews, it would cause massive debates online. However, if it were brought out in the movie, everyone would be free to decide for themselves what the movie is all about. This greatly avoids massive uproars, especially once people are told about it before the movie is released to the public. Whenever an actor or actress talks about a movie, that is their own interpretation of the movie. On the other hand, everyone should be given a chance to interpret a movie however they see it. This is much better than watching the movie after hearing the views of any cast members, mm -hmm. especially if they are political. You know, so to be able to tell her story and to get under her skin. This is what makes Gal Gadot's move to keep the interviews about the story one of the best. She did the same thing in a written article interview that she did recently. In this interview, she was mainly talking about her character and what it was like to play an evil character. She also talked about the musical aspects of the film. She made sure she didn't say anything about the story, themes, or even anything to do with the political message that the movie portrays. During this whole interview, she kept it purely about the art. Talking about the art and the film is way better than talking about the political aspect of a film. This is because rather than talking about which side is better, mm -hmm. you are... Okay, so it seems that it's been looping. So let's end that one right there. Yeah, I think Gal Gadot basically is doing that because she's seen she's seen the smoke before. She's been through it before. <laughs> it's not new to her. I, I think Rachel, she's still growing in the industry. I Personally, I have my... Um, should I say issues with um, Snow White? Um, I don't appreciate the movie and the new structure of the movie. 
but I wouldn't really smoke Rachel. Like I would go straight to the root if I wanted to smoke somebody. But the fact that Rachel is now sitting as as the face, you know, you're you're an actor, is acting, so you're not really the face. I mean, I wouldn't think you're the one to take the smoke. That's what I'm saying. But she's basically trying to block the bullets, and the bullets are going through. She shouldn't be doing that. And she's talking a little too much, so she might deserve some some of the smoke she's getting. <laughs> Gal Gadot is a professional, and she knows about this. Hopefully, Rachel, she revisits her press training. If she hasn't gotten one, she needs to go get one, because it's essential. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting all the smoke for everything. Well, it's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about that. Um, feel free to correct, add, critique anything that might have been said wrong from the video or myself. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Peace.